You know, there comes a moment in everyone's life where they really just have to sit down and they have to they have to self-reflect, you know, and they just they just gotta ask themselves one thing. What the ever-loving hell am I doing? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. And welcome to another story time with Glitchtrap. But this time, I can guarantee you, it is not children's stories. <laughs> hey there, it's your pal. And welcome to another video, where today, I will be reading to you. Oh, I can't even, I can't even say it. I can't even do it. I can't do that to myself. I can't, I can't do this. Oh, Vanny, save me. Vanny, please. Vanny, just, Vanny. It's Vanny, save me. Kill everyone. You know what, just kill the world. Kill every single person on the planet so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Can you do that? That'd really mean the world to me, you know? Hey, it's like the food challenges, right? There's a veto option, there's always a veto option. What if I just veto this entire video? That's a great idea, you know what? Yeah, Vi um, sorry, uh, you know, ignore everything I said. Um, this is actually not a video, and if you clicked on it, I'm sorry, but that's your mistake. Um, I was actually just leaving. I'm, um, I'm late, f actually, for, um, for ballet class. So I, you know, Tiptoe, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, you know, have fun staring at this lovely backdrop I made for definitely not a video. And um, like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Hello everyone. For I don't know, the tenth time. And welcome to a video in which I will be reading you fan fiction. You are about to witness the last of my dignity, which is not much at all, disappear right before your eyes. You're also about to see me die a little more inside. I think that I think the goal of this series is to actually find a way to finally kill me. Like actually kill me. Like never come back again, you know, cuz you know I always come back and all that shit. Maybe maybe by the end of this series I'll decide on my own that I don't ever want to come back ever 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 again. There are going to be disclaimers for this video. First of all, prepare your ears and your eyes and any other senses because you are about to experience potentially inappropriate content. I am going to censor anything that is fun and I'm also going to make sure that whatever makes it to your consuming eyes and ears is not scarring. I may read through some of it silently and just have you look at my face. We are heading, once again, to the lovely land of Twitter. Because I again posted a tweet for you guys asking you to send me your submissions of fan fictions to read on camera. And I'm going to read through not the entirety, but just a little bit of as many of these fan fictions as I can handle. Buckle the fuckle up, because this, I can guarantee you, is probably going to be ten times worse than Google could ever be. And we'll go from- ah, I'm already looking- I'm already looking at some of the titles. Oh, God. The first wonderful, and I'm sure very innocent, fanfiction we're going to read together is called Glitch of My Heart. It's Glitch Trap X Reader. Hmm, peculiar. Here we go. I'm clicking on it. It's done. We're going there, and I'm scared. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a oh there's a table of contents. Oh, geez, it's so long. Okay. Also, to give credit where where the f to give credit where credit is due, this one is written by that one writer, two sixty eight. I finally finished high school and got you're in high school and got $200 for getting all A's for my last year of school. Oh good, 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 it's, you're a senior. I'm gonna, okay. Oh, we're already cringing. I love spending money on useless crap. Oh gee, thanks. Let me guess you spent it on me. <laughs> Was the relationship worth it? I wanted to buy a specific game for my PS4. I wonder what game? 
It doesn't have any games, plus it has... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't have many games, plus it had PSVR, PlayStation Virtual Reality. I got up from the couch and walked over to my purse. I grabbed my wallet and put it in the... <laughs> my rich uncle decided to give me a house to stay in because I go to online school- Oh, that no big deal! I- Oh, I just, I'm, oh I'm what, 18? And I live in a house on my own that I don't pay for. Also, I just get handed $200 whenever I get an A on my report card. What the f hell? Sure, whatever, I'm not jealous. Wait, this is me, right? This is technically me. <laughs> Hello, ma'am, what brings you here to- I'm a ma'am, oh. That's news to me. Okay, I'm a lady. Hello ma'am, what brings you here today? I walk up to the counter and say, do you by any chance have the Five Nights at Freddy's help wanted for PS4? I would be careful with that copy of the game. The person who returned it said it was bugged. Will do. How much will it be? Free. And I left. Two hours later. I booted up the PS4 and loaded in the buff. She did not load the buff. I booted up the PS4. I love the PS. Have you ever gotten a PS? <laughs> I'm already losing my mind. I may have to trim these down for you guys in editing. In fact, what I might do is I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna read ahead and see whenever I come in. My, my I come in. I, me, not her, me, the other me. When, when I, you, never mind. You, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? You, you understand, you, you get me. Okay, but be right back. Eventually. All right, so, okay. Basically, she she plays, I, sorry, I, Lady I, play the game. And I eat, I order food, and I get a little spooked, and I go to bed. Moving on. One eternity later. You haven't found it a sink, found it? Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm finding, uh, sorry, she, me, is finding tapes now. We're up to seven, and have I appeared yet? Ah, here we go, to the right, in the hallway, I saw a disturbing, hey, hey, a disturbing looking bunny character with a huge smile creeping upon his face as we locked eye contact. I'm not disturbing. My body freezes in place, my blood runs cold. Every hair on my body is sticking up in fear. My pupils shrink to the size of a jelly bean. Interesting, jelly beans are actually pretty big. My legs are glued to the ground. My fingers go numb. I can't feel it, but I hear my controllers fall and hit the floor. <laughs> Why is this spelled like the SpongeBob meme? <laughs> Hello there, ch or sorry, no, I, ha I have to read it how it's spelled. <laughs> the glitched out bunny says to me in his low glitchy voice. My vision goes black and the last thing I hear before I fully lose consciousness is my headset hitting the floor. The sight of me was just too breathtaking. I was so beautiful as I stood there. She just, uh, she me, just couldn't handle it. Okay, she wakes up. That weird bunny dude is nowhere to be seen. Excuse me. I have a name, and it's not Weird Bunny Dude. I don't like me. I don't like she me. What caught my attention next was a tape player that was glitching out on top of the coin monitor. I tapped it, and it took me to a room filled with all of these tapes, except for one open slot on a shelf. I felt what a- uh, ew! Oh! Mmm. That's uncomfy. Uh. Mmm. As I went to play my first tape, I felt a- who I I- Mmm. E. Ew! I felt a warm breath on my shoulder. Uh, uh, I turned around really fast and put my hands on the desk behind me, holding the shelf and the tapes behind it. My breathing quickens and I start to shake. Oh, hold on! I gotta, I gotta say this how it's spelled again. Bear with me. No need to be afraid, little one. Me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I really, mm. Okay, he steps closer. <laughs> oh, heck not, you don't biatch. Stay to frick away from there. 
I am clearly distressed. I can't make my fingers in the shape of a cross. Then you'll stay back, filthy demon. <laughs> oh. The creeper all man just keeps stepping closer to me. <laughs> I won't hurt you. I just want a good look at you. Ew. Okay, she she me is playing through pizza party now. Brilliant idea after that weird encounter. Oh, uh, she me is looking for me. Where are you? I yell out into the echoey dining area. Right behind you. <laughs> he reaches his arm out to me and I and my screen starts to shake. His eyes glow a deep purple and the air around me slowly turns darker green every second. I look at my hands and some of the fingers are stitched together. Oh, she's fine. She me is fine. She takes the headset off. She goes to bed. No big deal. She's fine. A few moments later. I grab my water bottle from my desk and see a note next to it. The note said, I'm finally here with you alone forever. My darling. My darling glitched. <laughs> Here we go! We finally made it to the your name! We finally made it to the insert your name! Here we go, guys! <laughs> ah! My darling Glitchtrap, you set me free! I am already inside! <laughs> Could he be here? No way, he was in the game. There is absolutely no way that creepy bunny dude- I have a name! is in my house. Not a chance. I quietly opened my door and tiptoed down the stairs. Whoever was in there heard me and hid behind a counter. It was obvious they were hiding because I could see a furry rabbit tail poking up from the <laughs> poking. <laughs> a furry rabbit tail poking from one side of the counter. I set my bottle down and crept around the opposite side of the counter where the tail was and tugged it. Whoever it was yelped in pain and jumped <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoever it was yelped in pain and jumped and backed onto my fridge. Onto your fridge. I got all the way up there. My picture was taken down for some reason, so I'll just tell you that it's obviously glitch trap. See? See, now you acknowledge that I have a name, but you, you j okay. It's me! <laughs> in a frightful sing-song voice as he strikes a pose. Oh god, oh god, I run ahead to the fluff. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, it's not bad. I'm just well. It's bad. I mean, I for me it's bad, but it's not like inappropriate. I just feel uncomfortable. They're having a they're having a kumbaya moment. It's really wholesome. It's great. Yeah, we're holding hands. I'm gonna read a little bit of fluff, and then I think I'm gonna be done. Why? I ask him. Why do you do this to me? He is quiet for a minute, and then says. Well, ever since I saw you collecting the tapes to put me back together, it made me think you cared about me. I guess that's what- <laughs> I guess that's what I knew. I wanted to see what it's like in the real world. He hesitated and said, And that's when it made me want to spend time- Spend it with you. How romantic. He grabs my hand from my knee and tangles his fingers in my fingers. His face went red from embarrassment. I blushed the deepest shade of red. I was shaken. This bunny do- And I have a name! I have a name! I have a name! And you've even acknowledged it! And now you've gone back to bunny dude! What is it with bunny dude? What is it with bunny dude? He had feelings for me this whole time! Wow, I, uh, I wasn't expecting that. That's nice of you. If you want, you can stay here, at my house. Which is totally normal, after you've definitely just, like, I don't know, broke into my house from the digital reality and are now flirting with me even though you're like, what, ancient and I'm barely legal? This is fine, this is... Wow, you're so soft and fuzzy, I say into his chest. He chuckled at my comment. You're very warm, too. I'm so sorry, but I never got your name. Finally! Finally! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, finally. Oh, it's Glitch Trap. And before you ask, I got your name from your PS4 account. It's, um, it's, it's, it's Glitch Trap. 
is awesome 1983. Oh, we wa- oh god, we- oh, we're cuddling now. We're watching a movie. How wholesome. I- mm. Of course- what? What? Whoa, whoa! Whoa! I read ahead like maybe two paragraphs and what? Glitchtrap's face lit up like a light bulb. Of course I'll sleep with you. Oh, wait! Wait! Okay, it's just sleeping. It's just some shut eye. It's just some good old Zeds. It's just good Zs. Good sleeps. Okay. You know, this is great. This is great. But, um... I'm gonna move on to the next one because I've been on this one for a really, really, really long time. I'm moving on to the next one, which is called Glitch in the Game, which is, again, me, ex-reader. I'm also not gonna read nearly as much of this one as I did the last one. This one is written by Vincent Toast Afton with 14.9 thousand reads. I'm reading ahead because we can skip the expository stuff, you know? That stuff's not important. That, I know that's not what you're here for. So we're gonna skip the context, which is like only the most important part. And we're just, I'm gonna read ahead to whenever I finally come into the story. Please hold. 20 minutes later. So basically, she, I don't know if it's a she me this time, but me plays game sees glitch trap goes ooh weird and then exits game we finally made contact get ready for it it's exciting going back to the main are you flipped the switch and went to the tape room only to see something you weren't ready for glitch trap <laughs> that's me was standing right next to you though he also seemed surprised oh wow fancy seeing you here in a game i've literally been Half low-key stalking you while you've played for a few days. <laughs> Weird! Wow, fancy seeing you here. You two stared at each other for a few seconds. Then Glitchtrap took a step back and lifted his hand. You were too scared to do anything, so you just stared at him until he did something you weren't expecting. He poked your nose. It honked. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You then realized you were Freddy Fazbear! Whoa! Glitchtrap was freaked out. He didn't expect to be able to touch you. <laughs> okay. After five minutes, he guessed you probably weren't coming back. Probably won't for a while. If your reaction was anything to go by, he left the tape room and went to his secret room. My secret room? I have a secret room? Where's my secret room? I want to know what the secret room is. Uh... Uh, me played, um, plush babies, and, um, other me thought that I was trash at playing the level, and distracted me, and I died. This is Reader now. I'm Glitchtrap, and I'm here to find you, you said quietly, concerned <laughs> about upsetting him more. How were you able to touch me, you asked. Maybe he knew, and he would tell you. I don't know, physics? Science? Instead of saying anything, he quickly reached out and grabbed your neck. Oh god! The attack! Making you panicked and grabbed his wrist and arm. You both stared at where you were touching. You grabbed my arm! Glitchtrap said quietly, still in shock. Well, you grabbed my neck! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for grabbing your arm. You only went for the throat! My bad. Sorry if I offended you. What? What? <laughs> he couldn't stand being in this game. He couldn't do anything. He wanted to be back in his actual body. To be alive again. Your actual body? Are you sure about that? I'm good. D <laughs> I'm good. If I, you know, I, I'll come back, but I won't go back. You know, I'm good. I'm figuring out how to get out, right? I need their trust, enough to let me get close to them. See, here's the thing, you can't make someone fall in love with you, okay? You cannot. You just can't. You can't make someone fall in love with you. He was going to make you fall in love with him. He just needed to work on his appearance, look like his old self first. Oh, sweetheart! 
Ooh, if you wanna win, if you wanna win someone's heart, take it from me, you do, <laughs> you do not wanna look like your old self. Six hours later. I see you finally came back. The voice was low, smooth, and ha oh, sorry, it had a British accent. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, time to bring out the inner Brit. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Let's offend all the British people watching. I see you finally came back. The voice was low, smooth, and had a British accent that was really unbelievable and faked by a very American person. I had hoped it would have been sooner, but beggars can't be choosers. You looked all around, trying to find the source of the voice. But you weren't having any luck. Are you looking for me, dar darling? My darling! <laughs> you heard someone walking on your right. You looked over to Glitchtrap's doorway, knowing it had to be him. What you saw stunned you. An actual human man walked through the doorway. He was six foot three! Woo! Oh yeah, I'm tall! He was six foot three, dark brown hair and pale skin. He had an untucked purple button-down shirt and black jeans and shoes. I wear jeans? Trying to blend in with the millennials, you know? The one thing that stood out about him was that his eyes were purple. Missed me, he said. I've never met you before, you said quietly, taking a small step back. Who's talking? Okay, it's, it's other me. It's six foot three me. That's how we'll identify me now. What are you talking about? Of course we have, we've, ah, uh, f ah. <laughs> of course we've. His voice was calming and maybe you were looking too much into it, but somewhat seductive. <laughs> Is it the accent? Is it my really good at my, my top tier, god level British accent? <laughs> is that what does it for you? For me? Is that what does it for me? I forget that this is me. <laughs> the typos, god bless them, really just make this so much better. He was soon right in front of you with a clam small smile on his face. He looked down at you. It seemed like he was genuinely trying to be nice to you and it was freaking you out. He leaned down and grabbed your hand, bringing it to his lips and kissing it. Oh, gross cooties! My name is William Afton. It is a pleasure to meet you, he said while looking at you. You could feel your face heating up. He was being so suave and his accent was... <laughs> Sorry. And his accent was smooth and made you feel not clam, calm. My name is... <laughs> Well, oh uh, well, let's see. If you don't like the name Glitchtrap, I'll take it. My name is Glitchtrap. Hey, it's me, you. It's it's you, me. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, I read ahead. It wasn't bad. I asked myself out on a date. Okay, sure. I will go on a date with you. You said finally. You forgot how to speak like a normal person. Thank you so much, Glitchtrap. We can go on our date the next time you play. For now, though, you should probably go eat dinner and go to bed. Oh, how, how considerate. One eternity later. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 one date, bro, one date, bro, one date. I read, I literally, again, skipped my eyes down past one paragraph where everything was fine and then I looked down and then, oh my god. Let me just make sure that this isn't what I think it is and then I'll get back to you. Two thousand years later. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're watching a movie again and eating pizza. That's fine. I like movies. Okay, I'm gonna leave while it's still wholesome. I will. Whenever I take me on a date, or anyone on a date, we watch movies, cuddle, and eat pizza, which I guess is pretty good. Oh god, this one sounds bad. We're gonna do one more Glitch Trap X reader, because, you know, I just have so much love for myself. I can't, I can't help it. He then leads you down a long hallway away from everything and everyone. You are starting to get suspicious now. Now? Now I'm starting to get suspicious? Well, fancy that. If I know anything about me and this situation, I would assume if I were getting stolen by me that my plan was to kill me. I thought he said here in the kitchen. He doesn't. He says the surprise is in here, kitten. You are going to love this surprise, darling. 
Glitchtrap said back at you with half-lidded eyes. You were starting to think now, did, did you really want this? No! Were you comfortable? No! Did you feel safe with him? No! It's okay to say no, but well, then no. Nope. <laughs> nope. No is my answer. <laughs> Bye! Oh, Manny, hold me. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not reading this out loud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, no. We're done. I'm leaving. We're gone. I'm done. Well, bye bye Woo! Oh, God, what is this? Oh, Henry, no. Henry, no. Oh. I need a minute. I need one goddamn minute. I just need one! Just one! Cover your eyes, Fanny. I won't expose you to the awful side of the world like that. This next one is called... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Henry. Oh. This one's called Just Like Me, Just Like You. And it's, um... It's a, it's a good old story about me and my old friend. Me and, me and my pal. Me and my, my main man. Oh God. It's Henry and I. You know, the closest I've ever gotten to this man in what, 50 years now, is making cupcakes in my kitchen. In this AU, William never killed Charlie and Sammy. Oh, that's a book reference. Elizabeth and Chris never died. Great, so we're both single fathers. In this story, Henry will tell you about how he and William fell in love. But during the story, Henry will reveal something about himself. <laughs> wait, wait, I missed this on Google? Wait, what? Whoa, uh, wait, is this real? I, I'm gonna have to Google this now and see for myself. It has a screenshot of Google and it says, like, who is William's wife? And it says Henry. <laughs> Hold on, I need to know for myself. Who is William Afton's wife in FNAF? Mine doesn't say it, it says Clara. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm so sorry for Henry. <laughs> Oh, if only he were here. Oh, Henry, if only you were here for this moment and we could cringe together. You know, maybe it's better that he's not here. He, you know what, in fact, he can never know that we did this, okay? He can never know. Ah, great, it's from, it's from his point of view. It's first person. Hello, you don't know who I am. My name, should I give him a really terrible voice? Hold on, hold on, nope, I, I gotta do it. You guys all don't know, but this is what Henry really sounds like. Hello, you don't know who I am. My name is Henry. Henry Emily <laughs> Henry Emily Afton. What? I'm the owner of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. My hu- my, my, my husband, William Afton, is the co- uh, co- coder. <laughs> I can't read! My husband, William Afton, is the co-owner. We've known each other since college. We have five kids. That's a lot of kids. Me and William have been married for over a year now. Wow, uh, things must be going swell. That's great. But before then, things were pretty different. Today I'm going to tell you a story of how I, Henry Emily Afton, <laughs> fell in love with William Afton. I question your taste in men. It's like the Brady Bunch, you know? We just married and combined kids. It all started when me and my ex-wife, Isabel, divorced. Isabel's a na na name. We weren't getting along very well as husband and wife. Was it because you were gay and you didn't realize until after you had sealed the deal and put on the ring? Whoopsie. What's funny is that William had divorced Clara recently before I divorced Isabel. Well, well, mm, peculiar. How convenient. Convenient? Sure. How convenient. A lot of things changed one day. I found out that William is just like me. All good, okay, okay. The rest of it is just about the kids talking to other kids. There's no more of us. Oh, Henry, we've been saved. Oh.
I think we're, I think we're done here. Thank you all so much for watching this video where I suffer through some fan fiction. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please, for the sake of my last tiny itty bitty helplessly vibrating brain cell, like this video and comment what your favorite story was or what your favorite moment of that story was so that I can see it and I can judge you as I always love to do. You know, I think I'm going to go take a bath in some holy water now and possibly light myself on fire and burn to ashes, never to be seen again. But thank you all so much for being here. And as always, remember, stay bright, cause you're a star. And I will see you all next time. You know how my mantra is I always come back? What if, what if this year I just, I switch it up a little, you know? Maybe, maybe it'll be I never come back. I like that. That sounds great to me. <laughs> see ya.